Another city council meeting in Gunner and another night of no-shows from all five city council members. Citizens got another chance to voice their frustration tonight, but it's not all bad news for the city. News 12's Garrett Stringfellow explains. The corruption of the city council must end. Thursday's city council meeting was Gunner's fifth since all five council members resigned back in December. We will vote you out in May, but a reminder that your reputation will be remembered for years. Without council members present, the city still can't conduct any city business, and residents are frustrated. They knew what they were doing, they, they knew their consequences, and now they are, are trying to strong arm us, and here we are. You are under oath to continue your responsibilities and to your position if filled by appointment or by election. Have you done this? No or did? Tonight is a good example. We're trying to hold them accountable. They don't like it. Now, here they are running away. But it's not all bad news for Gunner. Today, the Texas Comptroller granted the city an extension on the deadline to reauthorize a portion of the city's sales tax. Which means we have time to get through the May election, vote in new aldermen to reconstitute the, the governing body, and then they can take up the vote and get the reauthorization done on the November ballot. Without the extension, Gunner would have lost roughly a third of its budget for anywhere from three to 15 months. And as far as the council members are concerned, interim city attorney William Stevens says he's not surprised. Tonight's meeting was consistent with the behavior that we've seen for the last several months. Disappointing, but the city is going to get through this. In Gunner, Garrett Stringfellow, News 12.